I've been married to my husband for 16 years. Only 10 of those has he been a firefighter. Let me just say, for the first nine, I hated this. The pager meant that he was headed out the door, away from me and our family. Other than the fire trucks, I pretty much hated anything about the firehouse. There were many arguments over the firehouse, screaming matches. From lieutenant all the way to captain, I fought his dedication every step of the way. Then I stumbled upon this Facebook group called Firefighter Wife. On Memorial Day 2013, it was announced that the Firefighter Wife was going to create the Fire Wife Sisterhood. We were becoming a paid membership community. I joined as a charter member. So much has changed in my marriage and my life since I found the sisterhood. Just ask Andy the next time you see him. Today, I send him out the door with a kiss, and I love you, be safe. Keep your angel on your shoulder and your brother at your back. Those changes have been in me, and they have had a direct impact on my life, a positive impact. I've learned to respect my husband and his brothers. The other thing I've learned over the past year is that my husband needs my support. Family support is critical for a volunteer firefighter. The tones never go off at the opportune time. There are times when you leave during the middle of dinner or just before you are about to leave to go somewhere. Having a family that understands the oath you have taken to assist the community and to be there for your fellow brother, sister firefighters when those tones go off allows you to respond and focus on the job at hand. Without this support, a volunteer is forced to choose between the needs of their family versus their oath to the fire service. There are some nights the tears flow when I watch 3920 go by with lights flashing. I cry because I know it is a structure fire. He may be going into a burning building to save someone or someone's home. Those are tears I don't let him see. He sees the supportive wife who loves him and what he does. Those are the nights I turn to my sisters and immediately feel 400 plus sets of arms surround me with unconditional love and support until he is home and safe. They allow me to breathe, knowing if anything happens to him, they will have my back just as he has his brothers.